Welcome to Nomad PHP Lightning Talks. I'm Joe Ferguson. Nomad PHP Lightning Talks are 10-minute talks that give a high-level overview or an in-depth look at a small portion of a PHP-related topic. Lightning Talks are a great way for new speakers to build their speaking resume and for long-time speakers to test drive new talk ideas. Right now, we have Chris Dankersley, and his talk is called WTF is Rancher. Please make sure you visit Join Den after the talk and leave Chris some feedback. Chris, take it away. Thank you, Joe. Uh, tonight, I'm going to talk about Rancher, uh, which is a deployment, uh, it's actually two things. Uh, what I'm going to talk about tonight is the Docker and container based deployment system that they have. Rancher also has an operating system which is a very slim down, lightweight Linux distribution that is built just for running containers. Uh, but their primary product is a uh, free uh, open source container orchestration system. So it has a whole bunch of features out of the box that are very easy to get up and working with without having to learn a whole bunch of command line scripts uh, or have to set up a bunch of machines. Within a couple of minutes, you can actually have a multi-node setup running using Rancher. So at its heart, uh, one thing that it does is it's going to manage all of your containers. So here I've got just a single machine called Rancher Host, and it's got two couple things going on here. One is uh, I have a stack, which I'll talk about here in a little bit, uh, which has uh, an Nginx container, which is actually in the middle of uh, rebooting itself as it's being upgraded. Uh, but then I have some standalone containers here too. So with Rancher, you can actually go through, get an overview of what containers are running on which machines, what state they're in, uh, whether they're running, uh, you can get a little bit of host information too. Uh, but it will take all of the information from all of your running containers on an individual machine and display them out to you. So you get a very quick overview of what is going on. The other nice thing about it too is as your application starts to scale and you need to scale horizontally, Rancher will also allow you to manage all of your individual hosts. So here I've actually got four nodes running. Um, I have the Rancher host serving its own containers, uh, but then I also have three other nodes in this list too. So you get a real quick overview of what those IP addresses are, what version of Docker they're running, uh, in this case, what operating system they're running. So I have three nodes that are running boot to Docker, the old, uh, the old Docker ISO, and then I have one that's actually running Rancher OS. Uh, I can see what speeds they're at, what information is allocated to them, uh, but I can see whether or not they're up. So in this case, all four of them are up. These were just virtual machines I set up on my little host PC. Uh, but you can see whether or not they're up, whether or not they're down, they're having issues, all from a very quick glance in a web GUI. Now, knowing that the machine, the hosts themselves are up is pretty nice, uh, but it also allows you to drill down and get information about individual containers. So this is a uh, WordPress container that I downloaded off of, uh, actually through Rancher. But uh, I can go in here, I can see what's the CPU utilization, what's the memory utilization. Uh, a whole bunch of raw statistics about this that if you don't want to go through and set up a ton of monitoring things, you can go in in Rancher and go ahead and start setting these things up. You, you yourself don't have to do anything. As soon as the container comes up, it starts collecting this metric information, storing it for you, and making it available. The other thing you can do is manage all of your applications. So we know how the individual hosts are doing. We know how our clusters are doing. Uh, we know how the individual containers are doing. But most of our applications are probably going to be multi-container setups. So using Rancher, we can add we can set up full tier applications using this idea of a stack. Uh, here I have a very basic WordPress stack running uh, in the Rancher system uh, that I pulled this down out of. They have a database container, uh, which is running uh, MariaDB. We have a WordPress container, which is actually a container running, uh, I believe, Apache and PHP, and it already has WordPress pre-installed in it. Um, and then it's in the middle of activating a load balancer, so I can actually have multiple WordPress systems behind it and let the load balancer handle all of the shuffling between the different hosts. Uh, but you can define these things called stacks, which are collections of containers that work together. Uh, if you've been using Docker for a while, one thing you've probably come across is Docker Compose. This is essentially the same thing. You can go in, define stacks of applications, 
tell it how to scale. So if I want to have five WordPress containers, I can go in through here, tell it I want five of these, it'll bring up the other ones automatically for you, join them together behind the load balancer and make it all kind of work. Now there's two ways you can manage your applications. One is deploying your application through their catalog. Uh, this is a predefined list of things that people have made available that you just basically click an install button, give it some configuration information, and it go ahead and goes to work. So that WordPress stack I uh, was just shown on the previous slide is actually downloaded through here. I can scroll down to the bottom here, select WordPress, tell it how many containers I want, and it automatically brings them up. Uh, the load balancer I put in myself, uh, but by default, it'll go ahead and get you a pretty much a one-click install for WordPress. Um, the other thing you can do is manage your applications individually. So you can go in and create your own stack uh, and start putting in your own containers. So here I've started putting together an Nginx container. So I, I have an Nginx server, I can go down there, I can specify an image so I can change Ubuntu to Nginx. Uh, you can uh, associate ports under the port map section there. Um, once you have multiple containers set up inside of a stack or multiple services set up, you can actually link them together just like you can in Docker. So I can see I want my Nginx container to talk back to my PHP container and it handles all of that stuff. The other really nice thing about uh, all of the setup and the deployment is this works across hosts. So anything, any stack we define, be it through their catalog or manually through their uh, GUI interface, you can have it spread out across and load balanced across multiple servers, which is a, a little bit harder to set up in Docker itself. Uh, but in Rancher, they take care of spreading the network across all of the machines. So you can have a database on one machine and a your PHP and, and web server on another. The really nice thing that I like about it, um, as it kind of lets you scale up with things, is it does support Docker Compose. So anything that you do manually in the system, it's actually in the background creating a Docker Compose.yaml file. There is another file that goes along with it, which is the, the other great up tab there called Rancher Compose, which basically just has some scaling information. Uh, but you can start off building a, an application using Docker Compose on your local machine using just raw Docker, then turn around and either specify a Docker Compose file in the, the web GUI or uh, using their command line tool and deploy using Docker Compose up to a Rancher cluster. So you can start out small, move on to something like Rancher, which gives you a pretty good base for, for your multi-node setups. Um, and then if later on down the road you need to move something bigger like uh, Mesos or Kubernetes, those things are available too. Uh, and Rancher actually runs on top of all of those. It'll run on top of Swarm uh, and Kubernetes and a couple other systems. So you can actually have it manage all of those things for you as well. So there's a couple of URLs you can take a look at. Uh, the main website is rancher.com. You can go there, uh, get links to download everything, get access to their quick start. Uh, guide. Uh, they also have a list of various tutorials for how to do things. So if you go to rancher.com slash learn, they have a, uh, a pretty good list of tutorials to go in, go ahead and start playing with various things and, and kind of go from there. So uh, tomorrow I'll actually be going more in depth with uh, Rancher at Daycamp for Developers. So if you're interested in hearing more, uh, you can sign up for that and uh, I will go much more in depth and actually show real deployments. Um, but hopefully this gives you a good basis for seeing if Rancher is a good idea for your organization or even just something to play around with. Uh, so I thank Joe and Cal for their time. And please go to join in and rate this talk. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach me at ctankersley.com. Uh, I'm Dragon Tank on Twitter. Uh, or you can send me an email at chris at ctankersley.com. Um, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of the talks tonight. Thank you. If you like this talk and want to hear Chris talk more about Rancher, check out his full-length video, Deploying Containers with Rancher. Visit the URL below and get your copy today. Thanks for joining us for another Nomad PHP Lightning Talk. If you'd like to give a Lightning Talk, please email me, joe at nomadphp.com. Please make sure you visit Joined In and leave Chris some feedback.